Hi guys, my name is Tefania. Welcome to my channel. So I've been waiting anxiously all day for the mailman and he finally came at 7 p.m. So we are going to do some swatches. I've not even opened this tab yet um, of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm also going to do comparisons of the Sunset Palette. Instagram made me buy this, you guys. Like, I was like, I don't need it. I just got the Safari Palette. Eh. But I did use my support points, so that was good. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and get into this, swatch it, all that good stuff, comparisons, and put it on the eyes. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe. It means so much to me. You know, I'm almost almost like to a year, guys. Almost to a year. So uh, I would appreciate your support. And yeah, let's go ahead and get in. Okay, guys, so a little bit about the palette. It is that leather casing that it used to be in rather than like the hard plastic, which your last two palettes were in. You get 15 shades. The names are not printed on the palette, unfortunately. It comes with this plastic tab which uh, I don't like it but at least it protects the mirror so I'm not gonna cut it out uh, anyways though there is one repeat shade um, that you get two and a half grams per shadow which isn't bad I've never actually I've I'm now a collector let's be honest so I've actually never hit pan on any of her eyeshadows so you do get a really good amount um, I wish it was maybe a little bit like maybe she could have done the gold and blue or something just because now they're both gold but that's just being nitpicky so anyways 129 bucks i would suggest using use of four points too um and we'll wait and see if this is good but i have high hopes for this so let's go ahead i'll zoom you in and we will get started on the abos okay so we are going to do one eye on camera i'm going to keep this look very simple i figured that would be better this time to keep it as simple as possible so we are going to take the shade Dijon, like Dijon mustard, and it does look like mustard. It is that shade right there. So we are going to take that. I did prime my eyes with some concealer and put some powder on it. Does like, setting powder ever make you feel like, I don't know, it kind of just makes me feel, one, it makes me have to sneeze, and then two, I don't know, it just, I'm sneezing and then I'm like, and then I'm just like, I probably look like someone in like a drug show or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, I, I powders and I don't do that well. <laughs> All right, so it's blending out really nice. I really, really like this color a lot. It is that perfect mustardy shade. It's not as bright as I thought it was going to be, but I like, I love the undertone of this a lot. So just on a big fluffy brush, I'm going to kind of take that up. Okay, so I think on a smaller brush, I'm going to take the shade, I don't know why I say I think, I've decided, I'm going to do that. We're going to take the shade Python, and deepen up the crease a little bit. I think I'm just going to do a halo eye, so I want to add that blue in, and mostly keep it on the outer edge. I just want it to be able to blend nicely together. So I like the pigment on this, it's not like super, super intense, but you can build it up which I like with darker shades or else I look like a clown. So I am not upset about that. I am taking it up a little bit higher because my downturn eyelids. On a flat brush, I'm going to take Aurora next. It is this gorgeous like shimmer shade. So I use Python first and then we're going to go in with this Aurora shade. I'm going to pick it up with a synthetic brush. I do think her shimmers work best with your fingers. Some of them work really well with Max Fix Plus, but I still think your finger is your best bet. But I also know a lot of people don't like to use their fingers. It's picking up super nice. So I am getting a little bit of fallout, nothing crazy, but I did want to mention it. We are now going to wet the brush. I like my shadows intense, so you know, I have to try and see what happens. And I do think you picked up, I picked up more. I picked up more pigment. So I will also put a little bit on with the finger. I will say it does feel like all of her shades always now feel a little bit different than the old formula. The old formula, it was like super intense, but super chunky. But this one has so many different finishes of duochromes and all that stuff that all the textures are definitely different. But 
I wish you would keep it the same. Just I need consistency from you, you know? But it's okay. Because so far I'm happy. Now we're going to go in with the shade Brass. I've been super excited about this shade. So this one is like the other ones. It's more of her chunkier formula, if you will. The way I feel about this palette is that, like you should never need another gold again. So I'm going to take my fingertip. These are the ones, the chunkier ones, work better with your finger for sure. I don't say chunky in like a bad way. I just mean like. Ooh, that's nice. What a nice. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to take a blending brush, blend that Dijon shade back through the crease. Nothing new. I just don't want. I just want to clean up the little bit of glitter. My fingers are fat, you know. So they get a little bit higher than I'd like. Okay, I'm gonna do this other eye and I'm gonna do lashes and then we'll do the lower lash line together. And we're gonna use some of these golds as highlight because we're gonna make this palette work. 12 o'clock midnight. Okay, so I am back. Let's do the lower lash line together. So let's go ahead. I like how I say together as if you guys are doing it with me, but that's how I picture it. You know, like you're my friends and we're doing makeup together. It makes me feel a little bit less weird than just talking to a camera. So. <laughs> Uh, we're going to just do some black liner in the waterline. I'm just going to take that in halfway. Okay, now we're going to go back in with that mustardy, there we go, that mustardy Dijon shade. And smoke it out. I would definitely say, I know like all the golds are really important, but I love, I think Natasha Chanel, she does such a good job on her like matte shade colors. You know what I mean? Like every time she releases like these transition shades and they're like neutral colors but they're just ones you don't see too often like it's kind of like that like there's those pops of like yellow but they have more yellow in it where this is like a like a poo like a diarrhea poo i don't i don't know how to explain this color but it's so pretty okay and then i think i'm just going to take a little bit of that blue shimmer shade the aurora shade and I'm just going to tap that in the center, like, of my lower lash line. You see how these goes. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the inner corner. I think we're going to use this white shade right here called Sparks. Sparks, I believe, is supposed to be more of a topper type shade, not an actual, like, highlight type shade. Like, you know, the Sunset Palette has, like, that really, really white shade. This is not that. It's just like a light little crystal shade. Okay, so I just sprayed my face with some setting spray and now we're gonna try to see if we can go in with a highlight shade. So I think out of these, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Aurum? Aurum? Aurum. 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 Jesus. It's this shade. Okay. But I do feel like, depending on what skin tone, you can kind of use a lot of these shades as a highlight. And yeah. Okay, so that highlight, that works. Like that's, at least you can find a few different uses, you know? Look at these, this highlight. Oh, okay. So now let's go ahead and swatch the palettes, see what's similar, see what's not and get into all that stuff. Okay guys, so these are the palettes side by side. As you can see, there's definitely some similar tones in there, but I actually don't think there's any dupes. So there's, I mean, I know that there's one. The dark brown shades, this shade log right there is the exact same shade as this one here. She did say that in, uh, I think it was like one of her Instagram things. I wish she would have just named them the same so that you know that they're dupes. I feel like that's a little sneaky to change the name. Just saying. But at least she told us, right? We're not going to like be crazy. So let's go ahead and we'll swatch. 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 The gold shades in the Sunset palette. But as you can see, I thought I had more golds in here. And I use this palette all the time. But really, it's kind of like there's not as many golds as I thought. So definitely not like the orangey type gold. 
There's none of those in there. Okay. So this is the best way I know how to do it because you guys know my swatches aren't great. Tomorrow I am going to do individual swatches on each eye as far as all the gold so you guys can see how they look and to see if they're any different on the eye. But I don't feel like they're so close in color like I thought they were going to be. And the sunset is definitely different. So this arm is all the golds swatched in the gold palette. And then you have the all the golds, all the metallics swatched in the sunset on the bottom. So as you can see, they're definitely different. Like, I cannot see any exact dupes. Similarities for sure, but exact dupes, no. Like, which I don't think is bad. We have the one matte shade that's the same. I'm looking at the other mattes here, and there's really nothing very similar in terms of the matte shades other than that brown. Um, but yeah, I would say these are definitely different. I also wanted to swatch if you just got the Safari palette, which I think this is going to be a great addition because you guys know I love my shimmers, so I would love to mix the shimmers with her mattes. So this Fata Morgana shade is definitely that dark blue. And then I'm going to take the shade we use, Python, and see if they are similar. So on this one, we have the Fata Morgana shade, and then this one is Python. So pretty similar. This one maybe have a little bit more turquoisey type blue, um, but still different shades. The only other thing I would think would be similar, this Aurora shade, the shimmer one we used. I'm going to swatch that versus, man guys, I am running out of room here. So one, I already have it on my hand. I know it doesn't look like much, but then when you swatch it on top of the turquoise, it turns it into such a pretty shimmery blue. So I think I need to play around with the toppers more to decide, but they're gorgeous. I did use that top on my eyeball and I really liked it. From the star palette, there was one blue in there that was like, is that the same? And no, it's definitely more of a shift into purple rather than that green gold type shift. So everything was actually more different than I thought it was going to be. Thank God for $120. Thank God, you know, but um, overall, I really did enjoy this palette now that I'm covered in swatches. Um, but yeah, I do think I'm going to do a actual swatch video on the eyes and see if I can, you know, differentiate between all the golds on the eyes or if they just transfer the same color just to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the eye look. I tried to do this as quick and informational as possible and I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps keep me going and hit a like if you like this video. Let me know which color you want me to use next out of all the golds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wouldn't say I'm more impressed with this than the Safari palette. Even though I still really like my Safari palette, I had a good experience with it. Um, I would, I'm more of a shimmer girl though, you know what I mean? So I would actually say that this one, this one beats it. This more reminds me of the Sunset or the Lila palette. If you have those, the formulas are just more towards that, which I'm really happy about because they weren't broke, so why'd you fix it? You know what I mean? So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. So. Refreshing my booty. It's not refreshing, even though it's 100 degrees. Not refreshing at all. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade...